Does life ever feel like it really weighs you down? We're going to think about that today on Now at Devotions from Trinity Lutheran and Cyrus. So, of course, it's spring and everything's starting to come up, growing. It's time to do cleaning or projects. It's time to get ready to plant a garden. I mean, all the things. And, you know, the last couple of years when I've come out to our garden back here, um, our raspberry trellises here, whenever the snow has piled up on them, it has pushed them down in the ground, just weighed them down with tons of snow, literally tons of snow. And it's so interesting because I think sometimes we feel weighed down by life as well, right? The, the, the different things that are going on in our lives, they just pile up on us and things can get heavy and get hard. This week, uh, we're in the book of John, and Jesus says, uh, I think it's chapter 15, he says, I am the vine, you are the branches. And there's lots of different ways to think about this text. I'd encourage you to read it. Spend a little time thinking. Take a look at it. But I wanted to offer you a thought. When we, uh, as the body of the church, come together, we ask God to be with us. We join up in a community. Um, we do some things um, that are very specific. We say we're going to have Holy Communion, this bread and wine where Jesus is physically present, we think. Or we're going to baptize where uh, we're going to use this water and the Spirit is going to wash this, but like physically present. Um, when two or three people are gathered in the name of Jesus, he promises to be there. We do all these things together. And part of what we're doing there is we are engaging in the life of Jesus, the life that can't die, the life that rose again, right? We're we're engaging directly with Jesus, but then also as a community, we're asking and having and participating in that life being a part of us. I think sometimes it can really feel like uh, this world is heavy. Uh, it pushes us down. It, it wants us to be worried about ourselves, not other people. Uh, it wants us to uh, solve our own problems, not ask questions or rely on others. It wants us to get things done. It doesn't want us to just be together, to live with each other, to figure things out together, to forgive, process, and then do it again, right? Like this idea of confession and then forgiveness uh, followed by uh, reconciliation or rectification and then back to relationship and doing that process in a circle is not something the world's real interested in. But we literally have the life of Jesus in us. He says, I'm the vine, you're the branches. My roots go deep. I am alive. I rose again. I am alive always. And you all have that life in you. You are literally the body of Jesus in this world. You are the hands and feet. And when we rely on Jesus for that life, we can be together. We can be in community. We can forgive. We can confess and forgive. And then we can reconcile and come back together. We can be a community that can last and uh, a community that can partner up with what God is doing. That's why we get together for worship. It's not for entertaining and it's, it's not for begging God to do all the things like Santa Claus. I mean, we do ask God for help, but God knows our prayers. No, we come together because Jesus promises to show up and we engage and take on that life of Jesus. So this week, maybe where you're weighed down, maybe where things are heavy, could you approach your Christian community? Could you spend time in scripture and pray? Could you gather with a friend and, and think about where is that life of Jesus in you? How might you engage with that? I'm Pastor Chris out by the garden for Now at Devotions. See you next time. Thank you.